Good. Okay. That was, I'm shocked. That was a fun game. That was a fun game. What do you think of that? I couldn't believe how close that was. What do you think? Tell that to Tell that to what do you think? I thought Doc was great. I, I couldn't believe it. But were, I mean, were you scared when he scored that second goal? A, a little bit, just because of Montembo. He's great. I, I, great. I'm not gonna. I did not believe in Montembo until like the last week. After the Toronto game, he sold me. But okay. are you from Montreal? Nope, Boston. Suck, Bruins Boston. fan. Yep, Bruins, Bruins fan. fan. So I honestly, I wasn't sure. I was like, we're either winning like 6 1 or losing it over time. Yeah! Yo! Bruins! Okay. Yo! Our name's Last Fan TV, but we only, had, we only had Bruins fan tonight. Like, do you yep. think the Habs fan are just sad they lost tonight? Yes. That's a bunch of I mean, losers! I, I, Go, I, I Bruins! I watched your videos. They're great. They're hilarious. They're great? Yeah. No way it would be amazing tonight. A, Bru a Bruins fan doing the Kirby Dog dance. Yeah. Fuck Kirby Dog! <laughs> I don't even know what it is. You don't, you don't even know what it is. No. I'm a Bruins fan. Yeah! Almost. That guy's funny. Uh, all right. So I can bring, I can Montreal build a dynasty like the Boston Bruins. Uh, I mean, and the culture too. I would just say, I mean, you. I think you have all the prospects. I mean. You have a lot of guys in your team that, well, they're hurt, but you have a lot of, like, AHL guys, good. Like, I mean, Joshua Waugh is a great pick. Go, like, Lane Hudson at BU is a great pick. I think you have a lot of good prospects in the future. It's, and you have the coach now. I think St. Louis is a great coach. I think you finally have the coach, the GM. That's what it really, you need guys like a Bergeron, though. Like, you need a guy, the culture, like, to, like, bond the team, Achara. But I think Suzuki's that. I think Caulfield could be that, but... I'm just enjoying what we have for now, but I have to say, I think you have good things in the future. I really do. Yeah, did, you see the, did you see the rivalry Boston-Montreal tonight? Yes, I, I thought it was great pace. And clearly, you, your guys got up. I mean, I mean, if the skill of the teams, I mean, let's be honest. Like, if I, We probably should have won like 6-1 with the, the rosters. Uh, but, I mean, your guys got up. Like, Harvey Pinard is even out there skating like crazy. He like, was I, in the AHL two days ago. Yeah. And Illinois, like you had a ton of guys that were in the AHL like two weeks ago that just came up and like actually played well. So honestly, hats off to them. I'm, Do you have a last comments before we leave you? Let's go Bruins! Yeah! Yeah! How's on TV? I'm here with a Bruins fan. What's yeah. your name? My name is Cameron. Cameron, Bruins 1-4-2. Are you yeah. guys going for the Stanley Cup this year? It's now or never, in my opinion. Now or never. You know, we're, we started off hot, we haven't stopped, and we're going to keep going. Okay. No one's gonna stop us. So what's gonna happen if you guys lose? Uh, ugh, well, if we lose, we gotta pray that we uh, players stay. We gotta pray that Bergeron stays. We gotta sign Parsonak. We gotta keep the group going together. Krejci too. We gotta keep them together. Do you think Parsonak? Uh, do you think uh, Bergeron could sign Montreal? Bergeron sign Montreal? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think he'll do it. I don't think he'll do it. You don't personally, think I don't think he'll do it. Yeah, have you seen a cup in your lifetime? Have 2011. Yeah. How, how does it feel? Like, make it feel to the Habs fan. Like, we've never seen a cup in their life. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's been 30 years since the Habs won. Obviously, this year is going to be 31. Um, I couldn't imagine the feeling. But, I mean, one, one Stanley Cup is, I mean, it, I was so young. I, I, I need to see one now. You know, I, I got to see another one. I got to see oh, a second. How desperate so. are you? I'll do anything right now. Do do everything. Do, right. do everything. I mean, I I'll get on my fucking knees. I'll be, I'll get on my knees. I need a cup. We need a cup, guys. Come on, come on right now. We need this year. This is here. Oh, we're number one. Get your friends in. Come on, come on. What do you want? We want the cup. We want the cup. We want the cup. Jeez. We need it. That's. I mean, I think yes. Chara. Chara, if we had Chara, we, I mean, we would be, okay, we need, here we go, we need that guy, we need 64 that guy. next week, That's how bad we fuck need. with me, yeah. I'm a Bruin fan. Woo! <laughs> Sucks to be you guys, Canadians, fuck you guys. Okay, Let's go. All right. okay. yeah, it's a little much. I mean, yeah, I know, like, the dad's getting posted for sure, okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. if, the, if the Bruins win the Stanley Cup, if the Bruins win, yeah. Is Bergeron retiring at the end of the season? I think if the Bruins win the Stanley Cup, they, Bergeron will be back for next year. You, he'll be back? I think he'll be back for another year. If he wins the Stanley Cup. I do. And, and is Pasternak going to be greedy for money at the end of the season? Yes, but he deserves it. I think we pay him. Pay him what he wants. 11 million a year. 11 million, but with all the money you paid on him, you're going to lose yeah. some good players. I Yeah, yeah we're probably going to lose a couple, but we got to keep Pasternak in Boston. We have to. 
Yeah. Whatever it takes. What, what's the best thing you like about him? Pasenak? Yeah. Just what he brings to the team is goal scoring, obviously. That's number one. That's that's what we need him for. He's, you know, he, he's not very physical. Sometimes he slips on the skates, but we gotta, <laughs> we gotta keep him for his goal scoring. So. Yeah, are you, in Mont are you from Montreal? I'm not from Montreal, no. Where are you from? I'm from the Boston area. You're from the Boston area yeah. and coming all the way here to see your team wins. Yeah. Was it a nice night? It was nice, yeah. We, uh, we drove four and a half hours this morning to get here. We're leaving tomorrow. It was nice to see you win. It was close. It was a good game. Okay. Yeah. When Kirbdok scored, were you scared? A little bit. A little bit in the beginning. A little bit. Yeah. But multiple performance like saved the Bruins, uh, saved the Habs. What performance? Multiple performance. It saved the Habs. Yeah. Oh, he played. He played good. Um, yeah. He played. He had a great game. I'm not gonna. It kept him in the game. All right. Well, thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Have a good no night. Problem. Thank you. Nice Thank you, guys. The Bruins won tonight, 4-2 yeah. against the Habs. So they're having an historical season. Absolutely. How can you how can you explain the success of the Bruins so far? Uh, I think like Crutchy coming back, Lindholm being there for a full season, and you know guys having career years like Allmark kind of explains it a bit. I think we break the record. Montgomery, and Montgomery. Jim, Jim Montgomery, and Jim Montgomery. Is he a good coach? I think he is. I think uh, he had success with Dallas. He got fired because of his problems, but he came back. He recovered, and now he's oh well, hopefully leads us to a cup. <laughs> So, how do you evaluate your chances of winning the cup this year? Listen, uh, I don't believe in curses, we're so I think we're the, the favorites. We're I think we're going to break the curse. I think we're going to break the record. We're going to have an historic season for Bergeron. I think he retires at the end of the year, and that's that. He retires at the end of the year with a cup? I think we win the cup, he retires at the end of the year, and that's it. Marchand, too, or no? No, no, too no. Early yeah, yet. too early. He has a couple years left on his contract, so I think he stays. I think he might get traded might be, maybe by the end of it. Okay, coming to the game tonight, did you think it was going to be a blowout? Or did like, you expect a tight a bit, game? But after I saw them play the Maple Leafs on, on Saturday, they played them hard, they won. So I thought it would be tight. And they played them tight. I thought honestly at one point I thought they were gonna lose. But they came out with it. Yeah, are you guys from Montreal? Yeah. Okay, how did you become Bruins fan? My dad's a Bruins fan, hardcore, so I was born into it. Tim Thomas. <laughs> Tim Thomas. That's a good. And Marsha, Bergeron, like all those legends the Bruins have in the last few years. How can you build a team like that? I think it's a culture thing. Uh, it was with development, but at the end of the day, we had leaders to guide those guys. Marshawn at the beginning was only like a scrap. He was a 40-point guy, and he would get in shit a lot. We had to have guys to guide like guys like that to like. And then him playing with Crosby at the World Cup like five, six years ago really propelled them. So Pasternak too it had to do with development. We had guys to guide him in the right direction. Yeah, exactly what he said. <laughs> yeah, I'll give him bring that culture in Montreal. I think you guys need lead. Maybe Suzuki's a good start. Caulfield's a good start. I think Suzuki's a good captain. You guys can lead you guys there. I think you guys, team-wise, you got to strengthen. Montem I don't think Montembeau's the goalie of the future, but fuck, he played played fucking fantastic. He's doing good for the last six, seven games, maybe. But defense, you guys got to strengthen a bit. Uh, you guys are a bit a long way away, but you're going in the right direction. I like uh, your GM and shit. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Ken Hughes. Ken Hughes, exactly. I like what you guys are doing with him. You guys are getting a nice pick. Florida's pick two this year, so it'll work out. All right, well, thanks a lot, boys. No Have problem. a good night. You too, sir. Thanks a lot,